Daniel Boone marked Boone Trace in 1775, the first road ever into the land that was to become Kentucky. It has been said that no other road is of greater historical significance to the founding of Kentucky and the opening of the West than Boone Trace. Traveling north, it entered Laurel County roughly from the area of the town of Gray in Knox County. The trace passed through Levi Jackson Park and into what is now downtown London. The trace passed where the Laurel County Courthouse is now and followed the 4th Street Corridor Valley to Highway 638 or McCorder Road. From there, it proceeded to Hazel Patch, and it exited Laurel County, crossing the Rockcastle River on Highway 490. In 1942, to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the founding of Kentucky, the Laurel County Historical Society looked back at the history of the state and decided that commemorating Daniel Boone and Boone Trace would be appropriate and valid. A number of historical markers were placed throughout the county, including seven stone markers along the alignment of Boone Trace under the direction of L.B. McHarg. This year, 2022, is the 80th anniversary of the 1942 historic markers and the 230th anniversary of the founding of Kentucky in 1792. This video is to direct you to the existing 1942 Boone Trace stone markers throughout the county, south to north such that you can get in your car and visit them yourself. Although Boone Trace came into Laurel County from Knox County around Gray, we're going to start this driving tour to locate the historic markers from 1942 on the bypass in London. From the bypass, turn south on Highway 229 or Barberville Road and proceed approximately 10 miles. At approximately 10 miles at Robinson Creek Church, turn right on Kentucky Highway 830 or Robinson Creek Road. Proceed on Robinson Creek Road 2.3 miles and you'll find the southernmost historic Boone Trace marker just a short distance off of the right-of-way. Placed in 1942 by L.B. McHarg, this was the first marker going south to north. From this marker on Robinson Creek Road, continue 2.4 miles on Highway 830 to the intersection of Highway 1223. At 1223, you continue six-tenths of a mile to the McHarg Crossing. Boone Trace came right through this territory. A marker to commemorate Boone Trace used to set here but had to be removed when it was damaged by an automobile collision. Proceed north on Hopkins Cemetery Road and at five tenths of a mile turn left on Echo Valley and another five tenths and turn right on Cherry Hill Road. In four tenths of a mile you'll arrive at a very important location on Boone Trace at Raccoon Spring. Raccoon Spring was an important meeting place for those on Boone Trace and the Long Hunters. The marker is located on private property. Cherry Hill Road follows a ridge that is widely believed to be actual Boone Trace. From the Raccoon Spring marker, travel north on Cherry Hill to Walnut and turn right. You drive a short distance on Walnut and then you turn left onto Hopkins Cemetery Road. When you turn left on Hopkins Cemetery Road, drive eight-tenths of a mile and make a left on Slate Ridge Road. After turning left on Slate Ridge Road, drive seven-tenths of a mile just past Boggs Road to the historic Boone Trace marker on the right. After you leave this marker, continue on Slate Ridge Road toward Highway 25 South at Lilly. When you reach Highway 25 South, turn right. Travel four miles to Ferriston where you'll find the next marker. You'll find the next Boone Trace marker 
just off of the right-of-way, tucked in between laminated timbers and the practice golf course on South 25. The next stop along the way is Levi Jackson Park where you can see and walk a section of Boone Trace. The next historic marker is located on the back side of the park behind the Levi Jackson Clubhouse. A short distance from this marker and down Boone Trace you'll find McHarg's Mill. And nearby is a 1915 D.A.R. Daughters of the American Revolution marker to commemorate Boone Trace, right where the trail comes out. It's important to note that this marker predates Levi Jackson Park by about 20 years. Adjacent to both McHarg's Mill and the D.A.R. marker, and you'll find another historic marker, placed by L.B. McHarg in 1942, commemorating McNitt's defeat, defeated camp. Members of the Barnes, Ford, and McNitt families lost their lives here along Boone Trace in 1786. Boone Trace passed through what would later become known as Downtown London. A commemorative marker sets on the corner of the Laurel County Courthouse property as Boone Trace passed through this spot, headed toward East London. The East 4th Street Corridor is believed to be a part of Boone Trace, as it makes its way toward Highway 638 McCorder Road. As you turn left on Highway 638 or McCorder Road, it is eight-tenths of a mile to the Daniel Boone Parkway, also known as the Hal Rogers Parkway. As you continue on Highway 638 and four-tenths of a mile, you arrive at the intersection of Sam Black Road, where another historic Boone Trace marker is located. As you leave this marker and travel out 638, in 2.9 miles you'll reach the McFarland defeat marker along Boone Trace, where members of the McFarland party were massacred. From this location, travel further out Highway 638, another 3.5 miles to Twin Branch Road, and turn left. In two-tenths of a mile, you'll turn right onto Feltner Steer Road. Feltner Steer Road, or as it used to be known as the Hog Road, is believed to be actual Boone Trace. As you drive along the narrow trace road, you get the feeling that you're actually driving on Boone Trace. As it drops down into the valley 1.6 miles later, you reach Highway 30. When you reach the intersection of Feltner Steer Road and Highway 30, on your immediate right, you will see a 1942 historic Boone Trace marker. To the right is Jackson County, to the left, back to London. If you could cross right across the street and go into the woods, there's a 300-yard section of Boone Trace still intact, but it is private property. You turn left here onto Highway 30 and travel two miles to Highway 1394 and turn right. You travel on Highway 1394 1.8 miles to Murray Cemetery Road and turn right.
In a short distance on the right, you'll see the lane that leads to the Murray Cemetery and across from it another historic spot. Running parallel to Murray Cemetery Road, just in the tree line, right over there is Hazel Patch Creek. And on the banks on the other side of Hazel Patch Creek was a location of a historic marker to John Woods Blockhouse, the first residence in what became Laurel County and the state of Kentucky, the first residence of the wilderness built by John Wood. Here in the Murray Cemetery Road area along Hazel Patch Creek. The location of Woods Block House and the Woods Block House historic marker is on private property on the opposite side of Hazel Patch Creek. You take Murray Cemetery Road to Highway 490 and go north. In about a half a mile, you will reach Mount Carmel Church. Although it's not one of the 1942 markers set by L.B. McHarg, sitting here in front of Mount Carmel Church is another one of the Kentucky Daughters of the American Revolution markers to commemorate Boone's Trail that was placed here in 1915. And on top of this stone, although the stone was cut and moved in here, is the carving of D. Boone. It is believed that Boone trekked across this ridge from the area of John Wood Blockhouse, which is in that direction there, and came through this area and ended up about one mile to the west of Highway 490 toward the Winding Blade area. Further to the north on Highway 490 from Mount Carmel Church, we drive until we get to the Winding Blade Road intersection where we find the northernmost 1942 historic marker. Just a little ways past Allen School Road, you turn left on Winding Blade Road, which is also known as Mershon's Crossing. Placed here in 1942 by L.B. McHarg, Mershon's Crossroads, Boone Trace, one mile west of here, Battle of Wildcat, six and a half miles, Kentucky, sesquicentennial celebration, 1942. Here on the corner at 490. And Winding Blade Road. Thanks for watching this historic marker tour through Laurel County. For more info, visit us at boontrace1775.com.